What if I told you that I could make a functioning solo base that can automatically sort every drop of my loot with the push of a button? Well today, that's exactly what I'm gonna try and do. But I'm not gonna make it easy for myself, oh no. Because I'm playing vanilla, fresh wipe, 1000 player server, solo. So that you don't have to. But trust me, don't try this at home. And make sure to subscribe for my pain. My name is Wiljam, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy my vanilla rust adventure. The time was just past 7pm, exactly 10 minutes into wipe, and all 1000 players were racing from the beach, battling to get their base down. As a solo veteran like myself, I know what it takes to survive on these servers, and I knew I was in for a rough journey. But as always, I opened up the map to find the perfect location that I could build my base. And immediately, the large arctic area to the southwest caught my eye. It was time to begin. Oh boy, just running from the beach and I've gone past about 500 players. This is gonna be an interesting day. All right, come on, I need cloth. Give me cloth. I gotta get some bags down because I'm probably gonna die a lot. Oh man, I've run like six grids and I found 10 cloth. I think I might have to just go with the spear, channel my inner Anado. It is time. Mushies. Yes, get some more health. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see this guy. Surprise, motherfucker! Okay. Oh, come on, he just had tools! My first victim of the day. My first hostile encounter. With countless more to come. I'd come a long way from the beach, but with no cloth, I hadn't been able to place any bags. If I died now, it would be back to the drawing board. Would I get my base down in my first life? And how will I possibly set up this automatic system on such a harsh server. Well, stick around to find out. Right, this actually seems like quite a nice place to farm. I'm gonna see if I can get a bit of stone in here. I just really need to get a bag down. I feel so vulnerable now. <laughs> if I die, I'm going right back to the beach. Wait, no, those guys are building right where I was about to. Aw, oh, man. That was looking like such a nice spot. They've already got revies. Holy sh. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Ah, uh, if the trees have run away, they're gonna be coming. Ah, uh, this is so tough. I'm actually ready to build a base, but I'm just not happy with where I am right now. I really don't like this area. I'm too far away from a monument. There are players all around. I think I'm gonna go to my original plan down southwest. Despite being ready to build, I realized just how important base location is. If I wasn't in the right spot, I would have a tough time progressing in the white. So I decided to pack up and move off to a new area. Oh, that was a close call. That guy went right past me. Now normally, the snow this early on in white tends to be a bit quieter because the server hasn't quite arrived here yet. So I'm gonna hope that I can get a base down now before it gets too busy. And after trekking across the land, I finally found a spot that would fit my base perfectly. You know what? Nice and flat spot, the top of the hill. Let's do it. I got water treatment to the north. I've got a road and sat dish to the south. I think I can make this work. Beautiful. Oh, only problem is I still do not have the cloth for a sleeping bag. This has been horrible, man. That's the problem with 1,000 player servers. There's no cloth. Keen to take advantage of the early wipe, I decided to hit some nodes before someone else came along. Oh no. What? What? No! Where, where did my spear go, man? It just went through him. Fuck! My very first death on the server. And with no bag, I was stuck on the beach miles from my base and with no way of getting home 
This could be a problem. Ooh, diving tank. Wait, maybe I could... Ooh. Maybe I could go diving at this fishing village and then get a pumpy, buy a boat, and then ride all the way back to my base? I mean, that, that could work. Right, I just need a little bit more scrap. Like, six more and I can do it. Right, got wood for a spear. Are there any barrels? Maybe I could just swim out. I'll just do that. I'll just head out, grab the barrels on the water, come back and uh, buy some fins. Oh! <laughs> you have got to be joking me. I hadn't even hit anybody. Why was I hostile, man? Ah, wipe day. I knew it was gonna be rough. But even I was feeling pretty low. Still on the beach, with a home that I couldn't even get to. How was I gonna build my automatic base when I couldn't even get a start? I had to turn things around. And you know me, I don't give up easily. So once again, I was clicking respawn. But this time, it would be different. Oh, hello. <laughs> don't mind me. Just passing through. Ah, <laughs> stop. No. Please, man. Well, it is finally morning, which means I can see. That's something. Yes, cloth for a sleeping bag. Let's go. We've won. We've won rust. Ah, I made it. I made it. <laughs> oh, that's been a rough beginning. But hey, a new start. With a bag in base, I finally had a respawn. The first thing I did was head out and get my hands on a bow. This would give me at least some chance of defending myself. Ooh, that guy's farming a bear. Get away. That's mine. Right, I'm gonna let him go. I just want that bear. Hopefully he didn't get the animal fat from it. Come on, please. Yes, let's go. We can get a furnace. What do you think you're doing? Thank you for the free bone knife though, buddy. Oh, he yeah, had the rest of the bear. One dead. One more. Oh. Bone knife. <laughs> Alright, come on. Have some farm for me. Hey, at this point, I will take anything. Any comps or worth. With the animal fat from the bear home, I just needed to farm some metal ore, and I'd be able to get a furnace run. Which meant metal doors, meaning I could survive an eco run. Just like that, after an hour of being beat down on the beach as a naked, I turned my wipe around and I was ready to properly begin. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> risk picking up the door. Okay, there we go. Oh, that feels better. Now I can just wait on my furnace, get a metal double door down, and I have an airlock and I am secure. And I will feel a lot better. Oh, goodness gracious. Getting down that first furnace to the wipe is a S-tier feeling in Rust, man. Ooh. Is that an ice pick? Oh, this would be huge to win. Definitely going for this guy. This would be a huge one to win. Nice. Ah, he hits that. Your body's so low. Let's go. Crossy. Give me that ice pick. Yes. This is good. This is what I need. Gotta start the day off with the bear rug. And after letting my furnace cook, I finally had the metal fragments for a sheet metal double door. I was now secure, for now. To set up the automatic sorting system, I was gonna need one thing before anything else. And that was the workbench level 2. Which meant with my base now secure, my next focus was farming scrap. And to begin, I headed to the rat nest that was water treatment. Oh shit, that is a big base. I did not realize I lived so close to a Zerg that big. Oh no, dude. Yeah, someone recycling. 
It's gonna be impossible to farm this without running into a lot of players. Oh, hit him. Hmm, how do I play this? Oh, I know. I'm gonna go up the ladder. Come from above, he will not be expecting that. This is such a nice way to fight Recycler. Oh, he has no idea. What? How is he alive? No. He's running. Fuck. Come on. Oh, he might be holding around the corner. Is he waiting? No, he went down the pipe. Oh, hit him again. Oh. He had a water pipe. Let's go. P2. Oh, shit. I'm out. I'm out. Get me the fuck home. Finally, after over an hour of playing, I had my first big break. Just please, Rust, allow me to get home safe. Come on, man, please, please. I, I need this so much. I've had a rough day, man. I've had some bad luck. Just let me get this home. Yes! Oh, there we go. See? Sometimes you just gotta keep at it, and eventually, eventually, you get that karma back. Let's go. We got a P2. We got a pipe shotgun. We got 150 scrap. That's big. I needed that. With some more loot now to protect, I decided to take out my pickaxe to farm to upgrade my base. Oh, that guy definitely belongs to the big Zerg over there. I'm going to need to be careful of them from now on. And in the space of just one day cycle, my wipe had completely turned around. Sometimes, you just have to pick yourself back up. Alright, that should be enough sulfur just to get some shells for my pipe. I will fill up with metal ore, because metal's definitely going to be the priority right now. Oh, farming with a stone hatchet is so painful, I swear. And as my furnace smelted, I waited out the night. Ah, <sighs> morning. I'm feeling good. This is going to be a completely different day to the first day on the server. I know that for a fact. Let's do it. To start off my morning, I used the stone I'd farmed the day before to expand some of my base. Now for a fully automatic sorting base, you're going to need a lot of boxes to split the loot into. And so when designing my base, I'd made sure to integrate loot rooms in the most compact and efficient way possible. And if you do end up liking this base design, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll do a tutorial. And with some more space in my core, it was time for a workbench. Right, I will use that as a jump up for now. It's not the most convenient, but oh god, but <laughs> it'll do for now until I get a uh, tier 2 and a ladder. Right, I think we're clear. I actually really like using the adobe skin for the ceilings and the floors because I think they look really good. I'm not a massive fan of the wall texture, but I think when you mix it with the stone it's actually kind of cool. Okay, we got that. There's adobe and then this can just be normal stone. Oh my god, I think that's someone taking Bradley. Yeah. I don't think I'll be countering that at this point. Second furnace going for the uh, double metal output. Although, I could do with farming a little bit more ore. With another door down and space to move around, I was feeling even more secure. Or at least, that was until... Oh, shit! Rocket Raid? Really? That's right there! Oh, that is definitely the big Zerg. I've got to be so careful, man. They could raid me in a split second. That's already five rockets. <laughs> That's like three times as much as they'd need to raid me right now. Fuck. Oh, this is so not good. I think I just need to keep my head low and not give them a reason to raid me. I feel like they won't waste explosives on me if there are other bigger targets for them to hit, you know? 
Yeah, okay, so they're raiding like what would have been a Zerg base. I imagine that was probably a fairly big group. Oh my gosh, that is so many of them. Just a small group of friends. I think I'll leave them be with my crossbow. Keen to avoid the massive Zerg raiding, I decided to head in the opposite direction to water treatment. See if I could get the scrap for the workbench level 2. All that for one crate, that's kind of sad. This area's going crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? I gotta be so careful around here. Oh, this guy's been farming the road. Oh, it's bad. It's compound bow, so I should be okay. Yep, there we go. Thank you very much. We'll take those comps. Ooh, a lot of animal fat too. Nice. You know what? I've got to do it. I've got to risk recycling. Normally I don't recycle at monuments like this on 1000 pop servers because it's just so hard to get away without dying, but I just need the scrap fast and I need it now. I made it. First proper run. That's good. Got all the way towards treatment. Got our shit, recycled, and got home. Halfway to the tier 2. You know, it would be rude not to get down the two pair rocks. About time I got a little bit more storage in here. Now listen, I know I'm not organizing it now, don't worry. It'll all do it for me eventually, just you wait, I promise. I really like that large box skin, it looks so clean. Love the artwork. Beautiful. Love that. Alright, now I think I'm going to want my entrance there. I can have that be a garage door here. And then that can be my jump up in the corner. I guess I'll leave that as wood for a bit. Perfect. And then we can get the metal single door down on the front. At least now we're three doors to TC. Which is better than nothing. Alright, let's take this combo out and see if I can uh, find some guys to bully. Maybe farm some loot that way. Oh, this guy's in a fight. I'm gonna let these guys fight it out a bit. Actually, no, I can't resist. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. This guy also gonna fight me? Oh, come on. I wish I hadn't missed that shot. Probably just gonna run away. See, I saw this guy dropping loot and I was like, I have to go for him. What was he dropping? Oh, what? That was not worth it. <laughs> he barely dropped anything. Right, come on, give me something good. Maybe a semi-body or something. It's like a pickaxe. <laughs> I love the compo sometimes. A little bit of scrap. I'll take a spring too. Ay, I'm missing such easy shots today. Wait, no, this guy might actually kill me. Okay, I, I'm just missing everything. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I almost just died to a fucking sword. Oh, man. And then I hit that shot. Honestly, what is wrong with me today? I don't miss on nakeds. I just miss when I'm in a fight, I guess. After heading south, I realized there wasn't much more than just hundreds of nakeds just spawning in. I decided instead to return to water treatment for some more action. Ooh, someone grabbing that crate. No, oh, how did I miss that? Oh, you ready for the outplay? No way. <laughs> oh, that guy is so sad. <laughs> That was perfection. 
That medium battery is so helpful as well. If I get that home, that's exactly what I need for my system. It means I don't have to spend the tech trash. Let's go. Another successful water treatment run. I think water treats is going to be the play. It seems to be working quite well for me. Getting some good scrap from it. Lots of good comps too, actually. It's about 150 scrap worth of components. And after a couple of successful scrap runs, my furnaces were dry, and I was out of wood and metal. It was time for some more farming. There we go, we got a little bit of farm. I'm going to start getting some sulfur going, because it won't be long before I can uh, start getting ammo, use that P2. With water treatment working so well to farm scrap as the next morning came, I decided to head back to get that last bit I needed for the workbench level 2. Uh oh. Don't mind me. There is someone recycling up there. I'm just gonna wait down here. The 100% drop down here somewhere when he leaves. Free scrap delivery for me. Wait, does he know? Oh, he knows. I just saw him in that corner. <laughs> I don't think he knows I know exactly where he is. I can wait all day, buddy. I reckon I can get an angle on him here. Oh! <laughs> where do you think you're going? Not gonna run away from me. Okay, that was actually a lot less than I thought he would have. That's a shame. That guy had a pistol. That was either a nail gun or a Revy or a P2 for sure. Right, I'm gonna bait him. I'm gonna pretend that I had no idea I saw him. I'm waiting for him right here. Oh my god. He was <laughs> he was also sneaking around. I'll take a free revolver. Give me that. Right, I'm gonna loot and get out of here because he probably lives close. SMG body, not bad. Right, let's go, go, go. Home again. We are getting so close. Look how this has turned around. Now it's going smoothly. We're almost there. Just a hundred scrap away from the tier two, I was almost ready to begin the plan to build the automatic system. But when I did get there, I wanted to be ready to expand immediately. So it was time to farm. Ah, starting to look pretty loaded in here. For a solo a couple hours into fresh wipe on 1000 pop, we're doing good. So many raids just constantly going off though. Wonder how long until that's my base getting boomed. What's this guy doing? Get away! Ow! Shot. That guy just dropped. What is going on? That is an actual war zone. I should probably go check it out. Let's go see if I can uh, make a play or something. Probably not. Holy sh! This is insane. <laughs> an actual war. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's just players everywhere, there's no point in that. <laughs> Whenever there's a big fight on a main server like this, there's always a good chance of getting some leftovers. I decided to head back naked and see if I could grub. Oh my word, I do not have high hopes from this. Ah, I can get this guy. No! I missed! There we go. Oh my god, if I... <laughs> if I somehow survive this, I will be amazed. Oh. 
What the? F oh my gosh! Okay. Give me that. Well, I went naked and I came back with an inventory, and I even got my revolver back. So I think I'll consider that a win. While I didn't quite have enough for the tier 2 workbench, I did want to make my base prepared for when I did. And so, it was time to get to work. Right, so just some simple stone triangle honeycomb around all the core. I'll then upgrade the interior to sheet metal, and then once I get garage doors, that'll be, you know, at least 12 rockets direct to TC, 15 if you blow anywhere else, which is solid enough for wipe day night, I reckon. Furnaces have been cooked, and 1,000 frags in there. Perfect. Now let's try out this shipping container skin. I love this so much, man. It's gotta be one of my favorite additions in a long time. For me at the moment, my personal favorite color is the red. It's like the dark red, especially in the snow. I just think it looks really clean. Obviously from the inside it doesn't look that great. Actually, I, I still quite like it on the inside too, honestly. But yeah, I just think that looks really cool with like the white of the snow. I think it works so well. Okay, now I was able to get that medium battery. So what I'm going to do is get some solar panels hooked up and just get it charging so I can fill it with power so that when I do set up my system, I have plenty of spare power to use. Oh god, that Zerg base is scary, man. And we'll simply just send the power out from there into the medium battery. I want to try and make this nice and neat, since there's going to be a lot of electrics in this base. And we hook that into the power in of the combiner. And then this way, when I get another solar panel, I can literally just plug it straight into that second combined power in, and then they will work together to fill up that medium battery. And with the battery and solar panel set up and building power, it was time to get the last bit of scrap for the workbench. Oh. This guy have the uh, scrap from the room, maybe? Nice. Two fuse. Too clean with it. Get off of me. Well, that's a good start. Extra two revies. Alright, 440 scrap, one more recycle, and I'm there. Let's do it. Oh no. No, not now. Surprise, motherfucker. Ooh, not bad. Give me that. Right, I need to get out of here. There's another one. No, I will. Right, I think I might just try and make a run for it because I... Th yeah, I know, it's two more. Fuck. Okay, one dead. There's at least one more. With the last bit of scrap that I needed so badly on my inventory, I made the decision to escape. Go, 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 go. This is everything I need. Come on. Yeah, I'm good. He didn't realize I was running until too late. I could have stayed to fight, but I didn't want to get greedy. Let's go. I made it. <laughs> I just realized even my door actually matches with the red shipping container skin. That's so cool. Hey, let's go. Well, we've done it. A few hours in. Not too shabby for a solo on fresh white. I'm looking pretty good. With the scrap built up, it was finally time for the workbench level 2. Ah, with this workbench down, it means I can get the garage doors, so this base will actually be safe. God, I love the frame as well with the shipping container. It looks great. Boom! Let's go! Right, let's just right off the bat get some garage doors crafted. Now, what skin is going to match this shipping container well? I want to try that one, but I actually don't think it will. So I also think the chop shop is going to look best. <laughs> that looks so good. Alright, let's see what it looks like. 
Yeah, I actually don't- yeah, I don't really like the look of that. The green with the red just isn't that amazing, I don't think. But, I think the other skin is gonna look better. Oh yeah, that's it. That looks perfect. Completely matches the vibe. I love it. Put that one there. Alright, so as you can see, there will be three proper loot rooms, all with four boxes, which I'll be able to nicely split the loot among all of them, hopefully. I'm thinking components, guns, resources, ammo, meds, all tools, all of that. And thanks to the tier 2, I can also get myself some electric furnaces, which is going to make a big difference for smelting down all the metal. But now I'm just going to connect it straight to the battery because I'm not setting up the other stuff just yet. Wait, why is that not turning on? Ah. Hey, we got the working furnace, let's go! With the workbench level 2, I could craft meds and ammo for my P2 and start roaming slightly more geared. Still early on in wipe, apart from the big zergs, I was pretty far progressed compared to some other players. This would mean I could farm them for all of their scrap. Just gonna give the metal a quick honeycomb, because that way 12 rockets to TC, which is uh, nice and solid. But actually, realistically, it'll probably be more because most people would probably raid a base like this through doors. Okay, that puts that double door to good use. You've got an extra airlock as well, which is always important. How did I miss that? God, oh, it feels good having a P2. This means I can kill all of these slightly more prim players. Oh, look at that. Free row of farm. That's what we like to see. So one of my loot rooms will be here like so. Get that upgraded. Beautiful. So I'm actually building up a lot of loot, which is good because there's no point in having an automatic sorting loot base when you've got no loot to sort, so <laughs> at least there's a reason to do it. And what's more important, I've managed to make the base nice and cozy too. It doesn't feel like a, a weird base, it just feels like a normal base that will eventually also sort the loot. Bro, this looks so good, man. This is perfect. All right. I think this box right here is going to be my main drop box. So the way it's going to work, I'm going to put all of my loot in that one box when I come back from a roam. And then the piping system will take the loot out of that box and sort it into all of the other boxes. That's how I want to do it. Everything was now prepared. The battery had plenty of power. I had lots of loot. I had enough resources to craft the equipment. I was ready. It was time to begin experimenting with the automatic sorting. Okay, now I'll be honest, I haven't actually made this system before, so uh, I'm going to be trying to figure it out as I go, but I reckon I can. I've got pretty good knowledge of the way piping and electricity works, so I reckon I can get it to work. So first, we just need one of these adapters on every single storage box. Okay, and then we need, uh, first of all, we need the wrench in order to pipe the actual uh, system. We need a splitter, or we might need a couple of splitters, and we'll need a few conveyors as well. Okay, now I do want to make this nice and neat, so I'm going to try and line it all up. So we need a conveyor and a splitter. We've got another conveyor crafting. We shall start off by taking the industrial out from this box and leading that right into the input of the splitter. And then from the splitter, it'll lead each to their own conveyor, which will power it through to each individual box. At least that's how I plan it in my head. Whether that actually works, we'll find out. Now we'll take the first output of the splitter and put it straight into this conveyor. I'm just gonna test the system with just one uh, sorting for now. So send that to the input like so. And then we'll take this output to our very first storage box. 
Okay, I think that's neat enough. In. Perfect. So, this is the test dummy. Let's see if I can get this to work. So, this is going to be my resource box. So, I'm going to filter all of the resources that I would like to be in this box. So, metal ore, sulfur ore, metal frags, stones. What else can I think of? Uh, HQM ore. Okay, we'll try that for now. Click apply. You know what? Let's hook up another one as well. So we'll place another conveyor, like so. Take a second output of the splitter into this input. And then we'll send this input to another large box. And we'll send that in like that. Perfect. And then I'll make that large box components. So, let's see. Wait. <gasps> They have a setting for components? That's incredible. Well, that, that makes my life very easy. Okay. Unfortunately, that's only halfway there because I also now need to power these conveyors. So, we'll take... Actually, I don't need to adjust that tool. So, since there will have to be a lot of connectors, I'm just going to place a couple splitters now. And we're going to send this electric branch out to the first splitter. Now, that splitter is going to power my electric furnaces. So then the power out can go into the main input of that e-branch. And then the output of that e-branch can go into the input of the next one, which I'm going to branch off to the second splitter, which is going to be in charge of the conveyors. And so now from that splitter, I can send the power straight through to the conveyors over here. Oh, there's actually a pass-through. I did not know there was a pass-through on these conveyors. Well, that makes my life a lot easier. I guess I actually don't need that splitter then, to be honest. Alright, and now we can just turn on the conveyors. And I think... This should actually work. At least for just these two boxes. Well, let, let, let's see. Okay. So, in here, I'm just going to take all of this out so we can see properly. Okay, those boxes are clear enough that you'll be able to see if this works. So, now if I come into this box and I just dump in all of this stuff, what should happen is I should start seeing the resources go to the resource box and the components to the components box. Alright, now these have had a couple seconds to work. It, I mean, it looks like it's working. <laughs> we got components in there. And then... We've got the resources have moved into there. Let's fucking go. <laughs> that is so cool. Just to see it again, I'll dump all of this stuff along with some other random stuff. And as you see, the random bits stay in the box and then the resources come through into here. That is beautiful. So now all I need to do is just create that, but repeat it loads of times with each different box so that nothing gets left in the drop box and every item gets filtered through. That's the plan. But I think it's safe to say that uh, we are looking on track. D wait, does this mean I'm actually not going to have a clickbait video for once? Do I actually build an automatic sorting base? <laughs> it's a miracle. With the foundation set, the question now was how far could I take this project? Oh, you know what would be cool, actually? If I could also hook up a system that would automatically refill my furnaces. That would be really cool. I'm, I might try and do that as well. Okay, so another box there. I'm going to make this one tools and weapons, I think. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. I've tried to make the piping as clean as I can. And I think that looks good. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see if they have a weapons filter. They do! Oh, that's huge. Okay, and then what about... And they have a tools one too? Oh my gosh. This makes my life so much easier. Okay, let's just try it like that for now. So we turn that on. What about this one? Do they have a resources? Huh. I wonder if that works. Alright, and now to test whether the weapons work. Yes! I was worried for a second. Let's go! Wait, why is it not taking the crossbows? Wait, it did! Yes! <laughs> and then, in this box, we have all our weapons and tools. Look at that. That is incredible. <laughs> I could play with this shit all day, man. 
<laughs> just chucking everything in this box and just watching it sort. I just need to finish it off with like all the other bits so that the box remains empty. That's like the main plan. Ooh. Got a farmer over there. Oh shit. This looks like a new uh new neighbor. Yeah, this is definitely a new base. Still looking very prim for now. Maybe I'll try and raid it. Make sure that he doesn't uh, settle in. First proper test from a farm run. So I get home, I chuck all of my resources in that box. And it just filters out into the resource box. <laughs> After seeing some new bases pop up in my area, I decided to craft some molotovs and go say hi. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, I didn't know there was anyone inside. <laughs> I think he was AFK. <laughs> Poor guy. Alright, come on. Oh. Oh, now I just feel bad. Alright. As bad as that feels, this is right next to my base, so I definitely need to raid it. Ooh, finally. Got some stone nodes. Wait. I'm dead. He's just one more. Oh, I got him. Ooh, that was clean. Oh, I got a bet though. It's actually not bad. I didn't have that blueprint. What's this guy got? Ah, not masses. Gotta give the, the Dropbox another test. Just chuck everything in it and watch it sort itself. <laughs> Oh, I got him. The guy just fed me another revolver, thank you. Finally got the stone that I wanted. Ooh, saw. I might go for that. Where did that saw go? Ooh, there he is. Oh, this guy is just farming every node. He's in so loaded. Oh no. I think he's heading back towards that. This must be the Zerg farmer. Wait, he's still farming. Oh my god. That guy just slept. Bro, I have to be so quick. The Zerg's gonna be after me! <laughs> no way! Uh, go, 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 go! I don't care! I just run! I have my rock, fuck! Oh, fuck! They're coming! <laughs> go, 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 go! Uh, I think I'm okay. I think I can make it. What do I do? I can't run back to my base now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run in a different direction. I know where to go! Oh my god, oh, what? Bro, oh, I can't hit him! Fuck! <laughs> oh shit, that actually might be one of them. I might have just gone to see where I went. With the Zerg hot on my trail, running back to my base now would mean the end of my wipe. But luckily, I had a plan. Hide! <laughs> Into the raided base! Oh. <sighs> And now, we wait. Oh my god, they're coming. They're looking for me. Bro, I have to be so silent. If they even get the suspicion that I'm in this base, it will be over. And wait, I did. The entire night until I was certain that they were gone. Wait, that guy was standing there the whole time? No. 
I'm so glad I didn't move. He was actually waiting outside. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to go. Fuck it. If I don't go now, I'll never get home. Come on. Just a sure run, please. Please let me make it. And then I'm definitely changing my name. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go! We did it! <laughs> oh, that was so worth. Holy, what an adventure, man. <laughs> Look at all of that metal. Two rows of metal. 3k sulfur. And a saw. And a jackhammer. So good. With all the loot home, I logged out quickly to change my name so that I would never be discovered. Just one slip up there, and that could have been the end of my wife. Ah, <sighs> we're back. I'm a new man, a new name. <laughs> Not Muffin anymore. Say hello to Lilith. Yes, I've been playing too much Diablo. <laughs> Bro, I'm really getting so loaded, man. Look at that box! For wipe day on 1,000 pop official, I'm doing well. I think it's time to spend some of those metal frags though and get my whole core upgraded. I'll feel a lot safer. I just love the feel of like the inside now that you can have this shipping container. It just looks so much better than the default uh, metal. Wait, why have these not all been the same color? What the hell, man? Oh, it's because I logged out. How about that? Alright, let's get all of these red. Get that orange out of here. Beautiful. Squeeze another electric furnace up there. I love this base, man. It's got such a cozy feel and it's it's just kind of nice. Lots of storage, lots of... I don't know, it's just cool. It also feels nice and open though, despite it being really compact. Hey, there we go. The dual electric furnace set up. Right, let's get that top loot room honeycomb, so at least it will be minimum eight rockets to get to the uh, the drop box. Cause that would suck if my uh, my special drop box got raided. It's just such a satisfying base to honeycomb. Cause it's so simple. You just place more triangles. That's it. Just works really nice and well. Nice. And we are done. Hell yeah. Right, I'm starting to need slightly more power for my system, especially now that I've got the second electric furnace. So, second solar panel will help with that. Just hook that straight into the root combiner, and we're looking good. And with the base fortified, it was time to continue working on the automatic sorting system, expanding it even further. Okay, this is where it very easily gets a bit complicated, but I'm going to make it work. Bro, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I'm just, I'm piping. And with that, I think I'm done. The question is, does it fucking work? Come on. Yes, it's working. Come on. Yes, <laughs> everything is going out of it. We get building miscellaneous in there. Clothes are going into here. Hang on, I need to take these out. I can't seem to get rid of these last few items though. I don't think they fit into any category, which is really annoying. Oh, okay, that went. But like the bed, the flame turret, bear rug. What can I do? Because I don't think they have a category, but I don't know how to sort them. Because everything else is working. Clothes working great. Building stuff's working pretty well. It's just these deployables, which just don't seem to want to uh, be filtered out. Wait, 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 I have an idea. What if I send everything through, 
but I block all items except for those. Because I can block the items that I don't want to go out, and that way it just sends everything else out of into this box. So, if we block components, resources, weapons, tools, what else is there? Traps, just literally block everything, and then whatever doesn't have an actual filter will just get sent through. Right? Apply. It works! Yes! Oh, ammo too, because I don't want to get ammo sent through. But I, that works! So then that just means everything random gets sent into this box. Yes! Okay, we don't want it to send food too, so we'll add that one. And then, is there a medical? There is a medical. Perfect. So now it won't send through food, meds, and ammo. Which just leaves all of, like, the random, uncategorizable items. Alright, alright. I think it is time for the proper test. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of everything. Gonna get ammo, random tools, I'll get some clothes, get some deployables, fucking resources. Just loading up with a bit of everything. I'm gonna chuck it all in this box, and it should sort everything correctly. It's going so fast. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, okay, so it's meant to leave food behind and meds, because I don't have a box for that yet. It's sending the resources. I think it's working. Resources have gone in there. Components have gone in there. Tools have gone back in here. Yep, deployable's back in there. <laughs> That's perfect. So I ju And then clothes in there. So I just need to set an ammo box and a food box, and this will be perfect. And so, with the automatic sorting fully functioning, it was time to put it to good use by PvPing for loot. Okay, just come back from a farming run. Let's chuck it all in there, and hopefully only meds and food stays behind. Look at that. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh yeah, and ammo. So perfect! Ooh, do I want to go to that? It's kind of at the base. I probably shouldn't. Guy's been farming barrels. Come on, be loaded with comps for me. Ooh, not bad. That was a decent amount of comps. This actually makes life so much easier. Like, genuinely being able to dump everything in a drop box and have it sort it for me. This is perfect. Like, this isn't even a gimmick. I actually might do this again. Like, this is so helpful. Right, you know what? Let's just quickly make the food, ammo, and meds box. This will be really quick. Okay, really quick, time for the test. Ammo and meds. Nice. Okay. This officially sorts every item in Rust. Amazing. Bro, why does that guy have a wind turbine? I think that's the type of thing that I actually don't want to use on my base, because it'll get me raided by, by the Zerg if I do. Oh, Jackie Farmer. Oh, this would be huge. One down. Could be just one more. Oh, he's Tommy. This is bad. Headshot. Oh! Got him! No way. Oh! Give me that bed kit. Bro, I, I can't pick it up! Fuck! Wait, no. I don't normally do this. I'm getting the rest of that fucking loot. I, I can't afford to lose out on that stone. I need it. Wait, I just have boots. Thank you. Give me a free python, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, that's an extra 5k stone. But that's so important for my base. That was worth it. Oh my god. Fuck you, bitch. 
I'm not even going for that pizza. I'm not getting that greedy. Get me the fuck home. Let's go. What a fucking W. God, what an interesting day today has been. From the lowest of lows at the start to now. I mean, my gosh. What a wipe day. And after a huge win like that, I decided to take a step back, relax, and do some work on my base. Right, annoyingly, I am going to have to move those solar panels. <laughs> I hate having to do that, but it's got to be done. I think I want my bedroom where the solar panels are right now. I gotta say, the new stone building sound has really grown on me. It's kind of therapeutic, actually. It's, at first, I was like, what? I don't like this. I don't like the change, but actually, it's kind of nice. Right, I decided to do a little revamp of the skins that I was using. And I like it. I like the change. Right, you know what this base needs? This base needs a different entrance. I need more doors at the front because I've actually got quite a lot of loot to protect now. Right, to open up the base, I'm going to get rid of the single door frame here, so I can get another garage door down. Hey, the jackhammer really makes the solo life easier when it comes to soft siding, my gosh. That was painless. I think that will do for now. Just chuck everything back in the sorting box, we're good to go. With the base upgraded, it was starting to get later on into white day, and my journey for the day was coming towards an end. And as the sun rose on the final rust morning, it was time for some PvP. Ooh, I bet that's another farmer for the big zerg. I might try and kill him. Oh, we just got in a fight with someone too. Oh, I'm definitely going. Yoink. Ah, he was a farmer. He only just started farming. Yeah, I, uh, I don't think I'm going to run back past their Zerg base on my way home. <laughs> this is going to have to be a long journey round. That was a good run. Let's go back out for more. Ooh. Okay, this is perfect. I can definitely do something here. No! How did he know? Ah, shit. Oh, there are so many dead bodies. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, how do I get out of this, man? It's two guys right next to my face. Come on. Go, 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 go. Yes. Ah, dump it all in the magical drop box. <laughs> all these guys are not happy with me. I think it's time for the final roam of the day. Let's do it. What in the world? <laughs> Why is it just a random revolver there? Okay. Ooh, those guys are coming. It's gonna be a battle. 
Wait, that guy's not dead. Bro, I thought I killed him. What? How long has that guy been sneaking on me, man? Oh, take another Tommy. Thank you very much. <sighs> what a day it has been. <laughs> yep, system still works. Hasn't broken. That's good. The time was now almost 5 a.m. It had been a long and hard wipe day, but I was almost ready for bed. But before finishing, I wanted to do some final touches on the base. Ah, oh, shit, why are they all different colors? No, fuck, I'll change all that. That's so annoying. That base is looking threatening with the uh, the metal all around. Yeah, I think in the snow that red just looks so good. Just works perfectly. Okay. Well, I think there is nothing more I can do to survive wipe day. The base is strong. It's 16 rockets. I gotta get to sleep. Finally, time for bed. A successful wipe day. But would I survive the night? I guess you'll have to subscribe to find out. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Wiljum, out.